Okay, welcome to part four of uh, Buchler 222E Patch Explained. Last time we had a nice long slow attack here. I had showed how I mapped these first four pads to various uh, effects in Ableton. I'm hitting the pad, you can see it engage. And that one's already gauged, take it off. So, you know, you can play a, a sound. And indeed, turn the effect on and off is another way of changing the sound. Okay. Take all that stuff off. Um, now, I think the way Mort, Morton Spotnik uses this uh, from a few interviews is he, uh, I, I don't know if he's used a trigger finger, but he uh, often has a small MIDI controller, either a black and white keyboard or both a black and white keyboard and like a Korg Nano controller with um, push buttons, uh, rotary pots, and faders. Um, the nice thing about trigger fingers is that it has push buttons, faders, and rotary pots. Um, and what I can do, and the way Morton uses this, uh, I think is not unlike uh, his little re interview where he shows the original Buchla controller, which was 10 plates, and uh, points out that it wasn't for the ten fingers, but it was for, they had tape loop machines, and as a way to engage tape loops. And so, uh, in a sense, what I'm doing with Trigger Finger and Ableton is triggering loops, or one-shots. I could, of course, um, I could have, sorry for the camera work here, I could, of course, um, turn those into loops. Here's uh, Morton talking about that. And you've not done the black and white for keyboard. This is the original old keyboard, one of the, wow. the two. We called it the touch control voltage source, and it's the amount of skin you place that makes the voltage change. You're just expanding the... Um, the, the surface, so you're making the, the resistance changes. And the question I ask people is, why are there 10 keys? Why do we make 10 keys? And almost everybody says, because we have 10 fingers. But if you, it would be very hard to use 10 fingers on it, because our thumbs are so much smaller. They don't work. No, the answer was, we had, this was designed to be able to do music on Cret, so you have audio loops. And you could play the loops. And we happen to have 10 audio loop machines. <laughs> okay. So, back to Ableton. In a sense, the trigger finger can, as I mentioned, do these loops. Uh. just one shots. Uh, another thing about the trigger finger is you can have volume control. Let me turn these off. These are longer loops here. And I think uh, if you listen carefully to um, Silver Apples of the Moon, the live performance, I think there's some uh, loops going on from the early recordings. In fact, Morton talks about that in an interview on NPR. 
Uh, let's see if I can't stop this. Okay, so now I can engage a loop here. Which is this loop here, and I can vary the volume. And then, of course, I can play this over the top of it. And I can go back and engage yet a different loop. Okay, so there we have it. Hope that's been helpful. Bye.